talk to you about the first couple of feet when you take the club away. And really why this is so critical is I see so many people get in a poor position in the first two feet and then they try to spend the rest of the, the golf swing trying to recover it. And what I want you to do when you take this club back is I want you to feel that the back of the, the hand, the lead hand is going down to the ground and the club face is pointing more to the ground. This is going to give you a little bit more of a square position and it's going to help you set the wrist in the proper angle so that no, when you get I'm to the top of the swing, that. you're ready to just transport that down into impact. So rehearse this where you're just kind of letting that club point down to the ground just like that. You do that a couple of times and then make that strike. And what you're gonna see is that that golf ball starts dead on the line that we want. It's got a lot more solid strike to it. The distance is really picked up and it's starting to go a great distance. Now, what, <laughs> what happens in the backswing from those first two feet? How are we gonna get the club from this position here to this position here? So let's take a look at some of the, the players that I think have really good backswings and including Jason Day, who obviously had a fantastic year last year. But let's look at this golf swing. You can see the body rotation. There's some arm lift in this. The club is stable at the top. It's not really wandering all over the place. And then you can see obviously as he transitions down into the downswing, beautiful balance with all that. Excellent motion. And then Jimmy Walker, and this is the down line view. I want you to watch how the arms lift the club up into the air. So many times I see people making a good full turn, but they don't let the arms get up into the air. You can see that his lead arm, left arm, is right on or just slightly above the shoulder line. And then that then his transition down into the downswing is all set up about is set up from the position that he's in. So what do we have to pay attention to from this two feet away from the ball all the way up to here? What are the things that are going on? Well, the first thing that's going on is what's happening with the arms and the hands and how they're reacting. So when we take the club from this two foot position here, this two feet back, we're right here. Now it has to happen. There's a couple of things that need to occur. One is, is that as we go back, we need to start getting the, the club shaft to start to point a little bit more to the target line. So we no. take that club and we go back like this, and then we get an awareness of when this club turns upside down, how we're gonna point it to, the, to that target line right here. That's gonna come from the lifting, of the, the lifting of the arms up. I don't want you to take the club back and then let it rotate all the way around in here where your arm is well below your shoulder line. That's gonna get you in a very trapped position. You're gonna be in real trouble from there. There is a lift to what happens. Every single swing is gonna start with the hands here and at the top of the swing, the, the arms and hands are gonna be up here. So how are we gonna get the arms and hands to get up in this position right here? Well, when you set up here, you might imagine that you've got a basketball or maybe maybe a book or something like that. And all I want you to do is when you go back, I want you to feel like you're gonna put your hands over your trail shoulder. So maybe in a down the line view here, if we've got one, when I take this club back, I want you to feel like that your arms and hands are literally gonna feel they're right above your trail shoulder here. So they're gonna go up, boom, just like that. And when I do that a couple of times and I rehearse that, you can see the arms and the hands are gonna have some lift. Watch what happens to my trail elbow. It's gonna get right up into the air there. I'm gonna get some space in between my elbow and my rib cage here, up like that. After I've done that for a little bit, now I start in that two foot position. I'm gonna start there and then I'm just gonna let that just get right above my, right above my trail shoulder right there. Start there, boom, up like that. Rehearse that drill for a little bit. And then let's try one. Good strike, just feel it. All I want you focusing on is where's the position of the hands at the top of the swing. That's essential for you. Now, we need to understand that the chest and the back are gonna work in this, in this back swing. How are they gonna work? Well, so we've got this little T that I've brought out. And what we're doing is we're getting the idea that when we set up, shoulders are parallel to this, and then when we go back, back and shoulders are parallel to this. So they start here, and they twist to that. Start here, twist to that. So what causes that? Well, what I like to do, I like to think about the trail shoulder. I think the trail shoulder getting right behind the head is critical for the shoulders to make the proper amount of turn. I find that when I'm thinking about the shoulder, the right shoulder has a range of speed towards the center of the body, where I can move it, but my body really isn't 
turning at all. So it can be kind of a fake swing where you just go like this, and it looks like the shoulder's almost gotten to the ball. This is an idea that many people had. Jack Nicholas had this idea. Take the lead shoulder and get it behind the ball. I like to take the trail shoulder and get it behind the head. If I take my trail shoulder, get it behind the head, now all of a sudden I'm going to make a big full turn. And when I look down, I'm going to see that my shoulder line is dead in line with this other bar that I've got on the ground. So I'm parallel to that line. Trail shoulder goes behind my head. And now all of a sudden I've made a good full turn. And you can see when I take my shoulders, I put the club across that. Now all of a sudden that's dead parallel to that line on the ground. So I've got a combination of two things in the master. back swing that I'm paying attention to. Obviously we're keeping that, that the first two feet paying attention to what's <coughs> happening with that club face no, in the back swing there. Then what we're doing Mom, this was dumb. is we're going to let the hands get above the trail shoulder as the trail shoulder is turning. So we're really focusing on imagery of that trail shoulder. Trail shoulders up and then back. Good strike there. And again, we're starting it on the line there. So what I want you to do to understand how to make the best backswing that you can make, pay attention to those first two feet, what you're doing with the club face. That's critical to making sure that we have that club in the position at the top that we want. Then I want to have two other images that we're doing. This trail shoulder is going to be the place that we're putting the arms and hands above, ab right above that. And as this club is moving in the backswing, the trail shoulder is going around right behind my back here. As we start to do that, we're going to put ourselves in a fundamentally good position. Let me just hit one more because I'm so thrilled. Get kind of psyched about this. I'm hitting everything over the basket. Oh, 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 yeah, let's get some of that going on here. So first two feet, up and over. Really good strike again. This one's got, I am getting long in my old age. Look at that. All right, listen, we come back. We're going to get to some short